Hello Gemini, welcome back and let's see what messages show up for you. Gemini, okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. This is your last reading for the month of September. So as we enter the new month, let's see what awaits you, Gemini. The thinking man, air energy, a lot of thoughts in somebody's mind. I see somebody holding crystals, so this can talk about, wow. Somebody thinking of money, somebody like diamonds, money, somebody's thinking about financial security. This pertains to healing as well, but for a lot of you, this is some air energy around you. This can be a specific person around you who is in deep thoughts gemini at the moment this person has is wondering about something we're going to see why is this person showing up here i see victory for you wow there's a situation going on gemini this can surround money matters <clears throat> for some of you i see some new opportunity is opening a door to wealth in your life right some big opportunity windfall is happening at first you might feel that i'm tied down i don't know if i'll be able to grab that opportunity or this is the right time to step into this new zone or new door but trust the universe trust the angels guarding you from above something is going to be beautiful right let's see what the tarot has to say this is for Gemini, sun and rising Venus and jupiter <clears throat> you can reverse the rules if needed, but do not force the reading on your situation. This can be your energy also, specifically Gemini males. Other than that, this is somebody around you, Gemini. Somebody around you. Okay. Let's dive into your reading, Gemini. Eight of Wands. The situation starts with some important conversation that's coming your way. This is about a conversation going on between you and a person. This can be a talk happening about the deal, about the relationship, how we're going to proceed things, how things are going to move forward. <clears throat> You are definitely in the energy of growth, fertility, thinking of uh, bigger things, planning big, setting up new ventures or, you know, starting a new enterprise. Or this is like starting a new family or simply just thinking of uh, extend, ex expanding the family, maybe thinking about kids. I see fertility. I see motherhood. I see nurturing. Definitely the energy of expansion and growth here. Somebody you are dealing with here, Gemini, is stuck. This person is confused. And uh, probably they are getting the clarity, the perspective change is happening right now. But for some reason, the delay is happening. For them, the situation is getting delayed here. Let's see more. We're going to clarify these cards and... We're going to see in a moment what it is pertaining to. Page of Pentacles, Magician. You have the idea. And for a lot of you, this is pointing towards a long-term stable future. This is not just a rosy romantic thing. This is something solid, something committed, right? I see you are the magician, Gemini. You have the skill. You have the thought you have the power you can manifest something you're thinking of manifesting this from within you you know that you're going to be victorious number one here right the energy of victory is already there for you mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay page of pentacles talks about the opportunity in hand somebody's bringing again the talk about the opportunity page is the messenger page is somebody who brings the communication starts the con communication starts the idea right wow oh 
it might be starting for you gemini but somebody has a very different thought process when it comes to this oh interesting you might not be looking at the situation from that perspective just of now but yes this person is very much interested in this partnership gemini very 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 much interested in this partnership and for some of you um For someone specific, if you're dealing with somebody who is already, I don't know, I, I did not expect a very specific love reading here, but this person has, if you're dealing with somebody of opposite gender, you might not expect this kind of attraction from this person at the moment. Maybe you're thinking about uh, this in a very unromantic or non-romantic way. But this person has romantic inclination. We're going to dive into it in a moment. Eight of Swords is there at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> For some of you, you might be dealing with somebody who has addictions. Uh, I'm specifically picking up uh, addiction to sex. Or simply, this person is attracted to you in a very crazy way. You might not be looking at this person in that sense just of now, but there is this strong energy here. Eight of Swords, I'm sorry, Six of Swords, Five of Cups, just as interesting, and the Chariot card is here. Wow. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Gemini. Six, seven, eight as the outcome. Somebody you're dealing with, Gemini, is is not willing to compromise. They want to make things happen. Or they want things to proceed specifically the way they want. This person is stuck in something. For few of you, I'm feeling that their affection for you is very strong. They want the partnership. But there is something in their surroundings that is, you know, flooding their mind. I don't know. This is obsession. This is sexual attraction interesting we're going to clarify a lot of cards i do feel that something might make you feel a little unhappy little unhappy as things proceed forward right <clears throat> gemini i do see forward growth forward progress confidence in your energy eventually as you decide to proceed forward six to the seven this might require the conversation might force you to step back take a step back for a moment but then i see forward movement happening you need to clarify this you're seeing the situation as growth for a lot of you maybe you were the one who was silent for some of you, I'm feeling that you're very confident that the situation has a potential to grow, but you have to convince somebody who is who is not given a clean shit to the situation at the moment. <coughs> okay, yes, this person is very unhappy and dissatisfied. They can see that you're not working things out. Gemini, you might have found something amazing, something which you're ready to manifest, something which you want to create, right? If you have a spouse, partner or somebody, this person is feeling neglected or if this is somebody, a co-worker or somebody around you who can see you doing different things, this person is very attracted to you and they might not be very happy with that. At some point, they might even feel that the situation is stuck, it's not going to move forward, but it might result to closure, you know. What is this conversation about? See Eight of Wands clarified by Eight of Wands. It's a sign that this situation involves conversation. For a lot of you, I'm feeling that you were silent and this person thought 
Your silence gave them an impression that you're not interested and you're moving on. And they were so pissed off. They were, you know, spilling up the cups and they, they were stuck for some time and they thought that, okay, the cycle is over and I'm moving on. But their obsession for you never died. If you were quiet for some time, Gemini, maybe you were on a break, you were nurturing something, you were focusing on yourself. You need a time for yourself, innocently. It's not you, honey, it's me. That is the energy I feel for you. <clears throat> this person was pissed off and they thought that it, it's time to move on. I see you very silent. For a lot of you, you might have other situations going on in your life and you were focusing there. Your focus mainly was some other situation going on in your life. And uh, this person was unaware of it maybe or maybe it's just that they, th they thought that you were ignoring them. If you are here to break the silence, you are going to get a crazy reaction from this person's side. Oh my god, okay, yes. This person so wanted stability with you, they wanted to work it out with you. This situation really turned romantic. It took a weird romantic turn. You might be dealing with somebody who has been continuously thinking about you and uh, if you think that they're moving on and you know they have decided to get a closure and drain the cup and justice you know se get separation or something like that break up no they are not doing that because within them this whole lot of turbulence going on you might regret that you were silent and uh, it gave a different picture to this person maybe you thought that they will understand but they couldn't understand your silence Hmm. I see you moving forward in such a way where you want things to proceed in a very traditional way, very committed. This can be a contract. This can be, yeah, it's like, you know, uh, Hierophant usually, usually is commitment, contract, lessons, und understanding. But here it can mean that you wanted things to happen in a very traditional way you know this is how it happens that that is the energy here okay interesting king of cups with the two of swords there's a lot of confusion surrounding this wow <coughs> okay they might act as if they're walking away give them some time your silence had a serious impact on this person's energy on their thoughts and they're finally realizing that of course they're going to come back and ask for another chance. I do see revival happening. You know, justice and judgment. This combination is very interesting. Justice is you end something, you balance it out. You feel that, okay, the situation needs to be evened out from my life. But then judgment is just coming back to life. So for a moment, they might act as if this is not working out, but it's working out eventually. Yeah, it's, it's talking. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Give this person some space, Gemini. Your decision to hold back or your de decision to nurture something you have, focus on you, focus on your own self, had an impact on this person, affected them in a very different way. And now this person is willing to just take a break. They're eventually coming back with an offer, don't worry. But for a lot of you, you might have confusion surrounding what to do because I do see other opportunities. For some of you, I'm feeling that there are two people in your surroundings and you have to choose. It might be two different situations, two different jobs, or simply two different people you have to. <clears throat> this is for some of you this is pertaining to a love triangle but you know it might not be actually a love triangle it might be a choice between your career and your a friend more than a friend it might be uh, you know career and family career or spouse but i see eventually growth is happening here for some of you you might even have responsibilities surrounding your kids so pretty interesting till now Let's see more. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's get a card of advice for you, Gemini. 
like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Exactly. Gemini, you might not uh, understand at first or you might feel confused why this person is acting different. Because when they wanted love, when they want to express or when they wanted you to be available, I see you were busy doing you. What were your priorities? I don't know. Maybe your kids, career, some other love connection. I don't know. Your priority was different. Now, if you're wondering about this person or if you're wondering, see, turn on your heart's light, reflect on a time when you experienced love. This situation talks about emotions. Yes. And I do feel that if you're expecting this person to open up and give this whole situation a new try, you want a new start, you want new beginning. This is possible, of course. But I see somebody will now need some time to release these toxic emotions. I feel something has taken over them. They have some other addiction now. Maybe this person got into some addiction or now they have... They started entertaining other parties when you were missing, you were unavailable. Give them some time. I see this person requires some time to make the decision again. Though eventually they're coming back with an offer, but give it some time. Right? So I'm going to leave you here, Gemini. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.